I am Joseph Friedrich, and this is my son Jared Friedrich. And uh, he was a good boy. I mean, we used to do a lot of things together. We used to go to mine shafts. We used to go to the lake. We used to go out in the woods. We used to do all kinds of stuff. Um, I miss him a lot. Me and Angela both miss him a lot. And uh, you know, he lost his life to a to a pill that had uh, fentanyl in it. Yeah, Jared died of the year, June 7th, 2018. Um, he died from a pill that was laced with fentanyl. And uh, there's been court going on, and Rick is one of the kids that was involved. And uh, his court's over. He's been sentenced. He got a year in jail, uh, work release. He gets to leave every day and seven years probation which it's okay that he got the year, but I'm not okay with him being able to leave every day and having three meals a day normal and going back in there and just sleeping. That's not okay. Court's coming up for Jamie Monday. Um, and through this whole thing, I have had no contact. The county attorney has not called me once. I've gone in there, I've left messages and they have not returned my phone calls. They tell me that I'm not a victim this is a victimless crime, which he's my son, so I don't understand how that is. Um, um, I'm okay with uh, Rick getting the year in jail. Um, he wrote a letter to the judge and said he learned from all this and he's a better person and he's changed and stuff, but not one time did he say he was sorry about losing his best friend that he was spent a lot of time with. He was at my house almost every day. He did a lot of stuff with us. He stayed the night. Um, he's never looked at me once and looked re like he's remorseful or, you know, he stares away like I don't exist. Um, I feel like in that letter, maybe he could have explained how he lost his friend, has learned from this because he lost his best friend. Um, and maybe just, uh, I'm sorry to us. And he was like a family member and, and has nothing to say to us.